real. You got to get on the meat, sink your teeth deep into the meat of the word and build up your faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Uh, Mike, May 12th is coming. Are we going to survive May 12th? Is there a collision? Is there asteroid? Is there debris field? What's coming? Pastor, we have, we have, some, we have multiple problems. Uh, you know, the coronavirus just uh, makes it worse, but uh, we have multiple problems. I believe that uh, everybody ought to get ready to deal with the heat and the wind. And that's one thing. We, we won't escape that. Uh, some of the celestial issues are going to compound themselves. Um, they will be self-explanatory. I don't think that anybody will have to explain that to anybody. Planet X? Um, Planet X? They're going to be self-explanatory. You know, a large object like a binary system, you know, I call it a binary system, um, because I do believe we are in a binary system. I have reasons uh, for that. But um, in any binary system, prior to some of the main objects being seen, prior to them being seen, the forces are felt. And normally, uh, with the forces as observed in other places, um, for example, they've been they've been tracking binary systems, several of them, uh, since the 70s. Um, and they've been watching everything since the 70s, a day-to-day -day record of what's happening in these systems since the 70s. And it is not pretty when that secondary system comes in. Uh, when it comes in, number one, it speeds up. And this is very important to explain. In other words, suppose you have something way out there that's traveling, you know, millions of miles an hour, and it's not projected to get to us for another um, what, what a thousand years right but each day that goes forward right you subtract three days each day you go forward you subtract three days that is a what that does is it compresses the time that it takes for it to get here every day is coming here quicker and quicker and before you know it you have no time to prepare for its flyby around the sun now the main object always keeps its distance uh, from that secondary sun unless it's the end of that system but um the other objects in that solar system is what uh the other solar system has to deal with and then when one sun the weaker sun comes in into into the uh, stronger sun you know what it does for about um, it, it'll do it for about anywhere from two to about i think it's 11 days you know what it does all the photons all the light from the one sun is redirected and pulled into the weaker sun all the photons redirected so it looks like the sun is gone the sun is black darkness. is what it looks like darkness yeah and they've observed this pastor paul so far they've observed this at least six times in real time they've observed this activity six times so, um, and I do believe we live in a binary system. In fact, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you, with all the mathematics, celestial mechanics that they have, if you reinsert or, or if you use a binary algorithm for all the mathematics in our solar system, for all the objects that go into space, they use a binary system equation for spacecraft, for satellites. They use it because they know what the facts are. They know what that tug is on a certain side of our uh, planet at any given time they know they know they know they know what that force change is and they know they know they know it uh, mathematically it's right there in front of people's faces um, but they just they won't confirm it because if they confirmed it then everybody would begin to ask and say wait a minute when is our when is our switch when is when, when are we uh, scheduled for our approach of the secondary sun everybody would ask that question and they don't want that question they don't want anybody to ask when is that supposed to happen because that happens in any binary system Mike, this has been a phenomenal broadcast, and you're 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 in, in it's just unbelievable. And I I just wanted to can we get you back next Thursday, uh, or do you need an do you need two weeks here? Uh, no, not really. Um, I, I tell you what, due to uh, <laughs> due to the speed of things, uh, any Thursday is fine. Just let me know, and then I can. Uh, Let's, get there. let's do next Thursday then. It's, it's, yeah. We're accelerating toward the Mega Quake Conference. And we're, we're, let's just keep talking and, and we'll see you next Thursday night. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Mike. God bless you.